Thank you. Um, do you think that it matters what the bug is eating? That was the question for, all, for our very special specialization team when we started to work on this with this project. This work was done at the University of Turku in collaboration with Rosa, Pia, Lisa, as well as our master students Anneli and Nora, Tuja, who helped us through the experiment, and Mary, who did the more molecular work at the Center of Evolutionary Applications. If you think about the huge spatial and temporal variation in food availability, most insect herbivores would benefit much of being generalists. Still, uh, most insect herbivores um, are specialized to feed on only few plant species that belong to a single plant family. Food plant use and specialization of insect herbivores is affected and restricted um, by several different uh, ecological, physiological and genetic factors. Uh, feeding on uh, suboptimal food plant species affects herbivore fitness and life history traits and has both evolutionary and ecological consequences. Still, when it happens, food plant specialization might eventually lead to um, speciation and it is actually thought to be the primary process behind the enormous diversity of herbivorous insects. We studied the food plant specialization of Lucaeus equestris, which is a seed uh, eating true buck in Finland. And as, as far as I know, also in Sweden, it occurs only together with its primary food plant species, Vincetoxicum hirondinaria. However, the extensive spatial and temporal variation in seed production of the primary food plant species enforces uh, Lucaeus equestris to feed also on other uh, plant species. <laughs> Feeding on these other plant species most probably ensures um, the survival of these bugs through the rough times, uh, but it is known to negatively affect their fitness. To understand the ecological consequences, but also the evolutionary change uh, in food plant utilization, uh, we conducted a multi-generation selection experiment. Uh, which was uh, designed uh, to select for increased ability to use a certain food plant species. So we started by collecting a base population from wild, and these females and males were able to mate randomly. Their offspring was uh, randomly divided uh, to four selection lines, each of them feeding on different food plant species. One of the selection lines uh, was fed on a primary food plant, Vincetoxicum hirundinaria, while the others were feeding on one of the three alternative food plant species, Helianthus annus, uh, Verbascum tapsus, and Centaurea frugia. In addition, um, we replicated um, populations within each uh, selection lines to be able to separate uh, the effects of selection and consequent adaptation from those of random genetic drift. The evolutionary trajectory for the selection lines feeding on Verbascum tapsus and Centaurea frugia were, were rather uh, clear, since both of these selection lines uh, went extinct after only a few generations. Luckily, um, the selection lines feeding on Vincetoxicum hirundinaria and Helianthus annus continued and continued and continued until after 26 uh, months and approximately 20 generations of selection, we started to investigate what had, uh, what had ha happened. First, we were uh, curious to see uh, whether um, Lucas Equestris was uh, able to, or whether it had ab adapted to the alternative food plant during the selection experiment. We did that by combining, uh, comparing the fitness of the bugs uh, on primary and alternative food plant before and after selection. Fitness was measured as the number of fertile eggs per female, um, and the white bars in the figure uh, describe the situation before the selection while the gray bars show what had happened during the selection experiment. And um, as you can see from the figure, uh, the fitness increase was relatively uh, bigger 
on the selection line that was feeding on alternative food plant species, indicating that these bugs were able to adapt to, to a novel food plant. So yes, indeed, there was adaptation. Which factors then affected or factors or processes affected the outcome of this experiment? Well, we observed that uh, random drift and inbreeding uh, had stronger negative effects on the populations that were feeding uh, on alternative food plant species. This was observed um, on fitness related traits as well as in neutral genetic variation. This figure here um, presents the data uh, or the micro microsatellite data and it shows um, that the level of genetic variation remained uh, much higher on the populations that were feeding on primary food plants, the white bars on the figure, uh, compared to uh, those uh, populations that were feeding on alternative food plant species, the pink bars in the flick figure. The negative effects of random genetic drift and inbreeding are very well known uh, to negatively affect the adaptive potential of the populations. And uh, they have or might have and most probably also has affected the outcome of our experiment. But still what is clear from here is um, that um, the effects of random genetic drift and inbreeding were not as strong as the selection for food plant use. Were we able to detect specialization? No. A classical measure of specialization in this kind of a selection experiment set up is to compare um, the box that or, or the fitness of the box that had been feeding on alternative food plant species um, after the selection experiment um, or to, to see whether the fitness of the box that had been feeding on alternative food plant species uh, after the selection uh, is smaller on the primary food plant species. We did not detect anything like that, so we can conclude that no, they were not able to, to uh, specialize at least during these 20 generations. So, do you think that it matters what the bug is eating? I think it does. And it definitely has both ecological and evolutionary consequences. And um, what is the most special thing here uh, is that even an herbivore that is to somehow uh, specialized to its primary food plant species might still have a potential for relatively rapid adaptation to a novel food plant species. 